25 questions in 25 days. Hello, Aluxers. This is a special series we're doing before the end of the year, where we answer some of the questions you ladies and gents have sent our way. If you're new here, do yourself a favor and subscribe. You're currently missing out. Here's today's question. Why is networking so important? Asked by Philip via the secret Facebook group for Aluxers. Whenever this topic comes up, you usually think of a room full of nicely dressed people sipping cocktails and exchanging business cards and pleasantries, all in the hopes of meeting people that will benefit them. They're either looking for opportunities or for solutions to their problems. Networking creates long and lasting relationships with others. It's about making a connection with someone that, if you can call them a year from now, they'll be happy to hear from you. You'll get together and share what interesting projects you're working on, the good, the bad, and maybe even leverage each other's knowledge and contacts for personal gain. Sociologists call this having social capital. The more people you know that fit in the previous description, the more valuable your network is. And if you're wondering where to find them, well, pretty much anywhere. Networking can happen at a conference, at a leadership program, in line at Starbucks, at a resort in Capri, or an event you discovered on Facebook. And speaking of, you cannot go on Facebook these days without being bombarded by events with the term networking in them. From personal experience, these are mostly a waste of time because almost everyone there is looking to vampire time, energy, and resources over drinks without giving anything back in return. Your best bet is specialty events, where people who have a particular set of skills, which you might be interested in, gather together. They will be more than happy to talk about things they're passionate about, and you'll learn a lot more in return. One really important perk of networking that others seldom mention is the confidence boost you acquire from constantly getting out of your comfort zone and meeting new people. This trait will quickly prove to be invaluable for the rest of your life. In many of our previous videos, you've heard the saying, your network is your net worth. This has been proven to be accurate throughout the ages. Those who have a solid circle around them can always rely on it. The rest don't have that luxury. The same circle can accelerate your growth. The more people you know, the more opportunities will come your way. Strategic partnerships and recommendations can go a long way these days, and you can never have enough of those in your corner. Now, while all of this sounds fantastic, we can already see in the comments, but Alux, I'm an introvert, I'm shy, I can barely muster up the nerve to talk to one person, let alone go into a room full of people and network. Well, that's fine, it just means you're not there yet. Start small, reach out to old connections, maybe an old friend from high school or university, or maybe someone that you got along with at a previous job. It could even be that nice neighbor that always says hi when you meet, but never really got a conversation going. Here are some steps you might consider following when you're out networking. 1. Make it easy for people to approach you. Don't stand next to a wall staring into space and avoiding people. 2. Have a goal. Go into a conversation with someone with the goal of learning about them and genuinely be interested. 3. Initiate the first step. Ask a person a question about their hobbies, interests, passions. What brings them to the event? What's their biggest takeaway from past events that they've been to? People love to recommend resources, and you can create a connection based on similar interests. 4. Balance a conversation. Think of it like a tennis match. You talk a little, then the other person talks a little, and it keeps going back and forth. 5. Give first, receive later. This comes a few minutes into the conversation. Maybe you give that person a tip about something they shared, or you offer advice on how to solve a problem they have, or you can even connect them to someone you know will be of help. Usually after you do this, people have an internal instinct to help you in return. 6. 
Don't bring negativity into play. Don't bond with others over how much the event sucks or how terrible the speaker was. Instead, always focus on the positive. Optimists outperform pessimists or realists in the long run. 7. Keep your conversations short and meaningful. Don't waste people's time. 8. Enjoy the event or setting. Just think about how you made your current contacts. You'll find that most of them you met in different circumstances and bonded over little things. With enough time, this will all lead to a quality friendship. Just don't force it. If you want to get better at networking and building up that circle of yours, we can't recommend enough a book called Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. You'll learn a bunch of quick tools that will take your networking game to the next level. We know the audiobook is fairly expensive at $27, but if you go to alux.com slash free book and sign up, you can get it for free, thanks to our friends at Audible. Human beings are social creatures, so why not improve that aspect of your life? Do you have some other tips that might help Alexers out there? What's your experience with networking? We can't wait to hear your stories. If you want to make sure you're not missing any of the daily value we provide, make sure to subscribe and follow us on social media. You can never have too much motivation in your life. We handpicked this video for you to watch next. We look forward to hearing from you and as always, see you back here tomorrow.